Meet the CH-53K King Stallion Heavy Utility Helicopter. After years of development from the CH-53 series of helicopters, the formidable Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion now meets its larger and heavier younger brother, the CH-53K King Stallion. The King is a rock, and the King will rise to the skies. The King Stallion helicopter built by Sikorsky is known as the most powerful helicopter the United States has ever had in its fleet, which has three times the lift capability of the CH-53E Super Stallion. Yes, the CH-53 series has served the United States military branches valiantly throughout the years. Still, as technology advances and more challenges arise, the King Stallion comes with an answer with its wider cabin and capacity of over 27,000 pounds 30,000 in maximum capacity versus its predecessor, which can only carry 9,628 pounds. Yup, they look the same, but the King Stallion hauls much heavier cargo, making it the Pentagon's go-to helicopter. The U.S. Marine Corps will definitely have loads of fun playing with their new set of toys, more importantly, serving the vital needs of the Marines during missions. With that, the Marine Corps has designated its first operational unit for the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion, the Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 461, also known as the Iron Horse Squadron, stationed at Marine Corps Air Station New River, North Carolina, has been redesignated as the first unit to officially field the CH-53K unit. Saying goodbye to its old but equally formidable set of CH-53E Super Stallions, it falls under the command of Marine Aircraft Group 29 and the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing. They won't be alone in the transition, though, a transition that'll be completed in 2030. They're one of eight aviation units to add the new aircraft, with two reserve squadrons and two developmental test squadrons. The rest of the 2nd Marine Air Wing will follow in the transition. It's been reported that the 1st, 3rd, and 4th Marine Aircraft Wings are also transitioning to the use of the King Stallion, while sad to see the beginning of the phase-out of the venerable Super Stallion, Sikorsky is thrilled the Marine Corps is introducing the CH-53K King Stallion heavy lift helicopter into the fleet and is moving one step closer to initial operational capability and first deployment, said Sikorsky's CH-25K program director Bill Falk to the Marine Corps Times. The initial requirement for the K model CH-53 emerged out of the need to build a variant with much more lift. A Marine Corps study which looked at the combat aviation elements of a Marine Air Ground Task Force. Engineers with the K program are using a handful of new technologies to achieve greater lift, speed, and performance with the helicopter, including the integration of a new, more powerful General Electric T408 turboshaft engine for the aircraft. In their press release, the Marine Corps explained that the King Stallion's three engines produce 57% more horsepower with 63% fewer parts relative to its predecessor. The King Stallion can maintain its high performance even in what the Marine Corps calls a degraded aeronautical environment. For example, the CH-53K can operate at higher altitudes, hotter climates. The helicopter built with lighter weight composite materials for the airframe and the rotor blades materials able to equal or exceed the performance of traditional metals at a much lighter weight. Earlier in the CH-53K's development, the design involves an all-composite skinned airframe, fourth-generation rotor blades, and a combination of new air folds, taper, integrated cuff, and modified tip deflection of the blade. Also, the CH-53K uses what developers refer to as a split-torque transmission design that transfers high power high-speed engine output to lower-speed, high-torque rotor drive in a weight-efficient manner. The K-Model is a fly-by-wire capable helicopter and also uses the latest in what's called conditioned-based maintenance, a method wherein diagnostic sensors are put in place to monitor systems on the aircraft in order to better predict and avert points of mechanical failure. The Marine Corps has a requirement for 200 CH-53K. Much heavier lift helicopters bring new tactical dimensions to both expeditionary and maritime warfare as they enable more dispersed operations. Forward operating, otherwise disconnected force concentrations can be resupplied with supplies, weapons, and ammunition by heavier helicopter transportation loads, 
changing the tactical equation. A combat outpost in an island area in the Pacific can more easily receive reinforcements from amphibiously launched heavy lift helicopters able to bring much greater supply loads per mission. A CH-53K would also be better positioned to, for instance, sling load mobile artillery weapons or even light tactical vehicles into high-risk land combat areas as well. Major Improvements The King Stallion's journey hasn't been entirely bump-free. During development, the Marine Corps found over a hundred technical issues to address. One of the most significant of these was gas exhaust re-ingestion, which significantly degraded the helicopter's power. With the helicopter's engine problems now resolved, the Marine Corps Heavy Lift Helicopter is ready to move forward. The success to date of the CH-53K is a reflection of the hard work and effort by the Marines, sailors, and civilians at Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1, H-53 Program Office, and Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 461, and the support we've received over many years from across the Department of the Navy and our industry partners, said Lieutenant General Wise. The King Stallion's First Exercise Arid, hot air sits heavy over the mountains. Soon, the autumn winds will sweep the lands to chase away the heat. But before they can, the chop of helicopter rotor blades can be heard through the valleys. Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 461 has been here before, but never with the latest innovation in Marine Corps aviation, the CH-53K King Stallion. This is the first fleet exercise the Marine Corps King Stallion deployed to conduct, marking a step forward for the Marine Corps. The CH-53K is more powerful, safer, and an easier to maintain helicopter. That'll allow each wing commander more capacity to sustain the Marine Air Ground Task Force in an austere environment, Lieutenant Colonel Adam Horn, Marine Heavy Helicopter 461 Commanding Officer. With three times the lift capability of its predecessor, the CH-53K is the new heavy lift solution for the naval force. The benefits are endless, said Staff Sergeant James Ganani, Airframes Division Chief for HMH-461. We practice our external lifts with a light armored vehicle, and we never have power issues. Routinely training with a light armored vehicle for an external load, to me, is absolute mind-boggling, said Staff Sergeant Dakota Schneider, a crew chief instructor with Marine Aviation Weapons and Tactics Squadron 1. It's got power for days. You can do anything you want. The CH-53K can fly at higher altitudes for longer distances and in hotter conditions than the CH-53E. HMH-461 used these qualities at Mountain Home to assist in future CH-53K production and employment. The Marine Corps continues its long legacy of innovation with this test of the CH-53K King Stallion. The lessons learned by HMH-461 during the deployment for training support the Marine Corps' modernization efforts. Heavy Lift in Challenging Conditions On September 5, 2021, Marines in two CH-53K King Stallions from Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1 successfully executed the recovery of a downed Navy MH-60S helicopter in the White Mountain Range 20 miles to the north of Bishop, California. The mission to lift the 15,200-pound search-and-rescue helicopter involved challenging conditions at an altitude of approximately 12,000 feet above sea level. VMX-1 viewed the recovery as an opportunity to operationally evaluate the CH-53K in a unique and extreme environment. The VMX-1 heavy lift detachment was operating out of Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palms, conducting a strenuous period of operational test on the aircraft, which was in its second month of initial operational test and evaluation. This lift was made possible by planners at all levels in VMX-1, 1st Landing Support Battalion, Naval Air Station Fallon Maintenance, and their search and rescue team, said Colonel Byron Sullivan, the commanding officer of Marine Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron 1. This accomplishment highlighted the Marine Corps' efforts to retain a next-generation heavy lift capability in support of the service's future operating concept. Marine Corps Aviation looks to the CH-53K as a much-needed replacement for its current heavy-lift helicopters. 
The future of Marine Corps aviation is well underway, and the addition of enhanced heavy lift capability is aligned with the Commandant's force design guidance to develop the future force and required modernization. The Marine Corps aims to use the CH-53K to optimize the force for naval expeditionary warfare in contested spaces in partnership with the Joint Forces, Allies, and Partners. The mission of VMX-1 is to conduct operational tests and evaluations of the U.S. Marine Corps' aviation platforms and systems under the authority of the Commander, Operational Test and Evaluation Force, or Director, Marine Corps Operational Test and Evaluation Activity.